All right. Thank you guys for joining me. Luis Morales here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk. Thursday morning, gloomy one here in Southern California. However, greatest time as ever um, to get going with some stretching, showing some love to our body. So before we get started, go ahead and drop anything in the chat that you feel needs a little bit extra love, a little bit extra stretching. Um, if it's tight for you, definitely want to work it into the routine. Um, got a good kind of morning routine planned out here, but very open to suggestions. So I'll give you guys a second there. If not, we can go ahead and, and go ahead and get going. Um, what we're going to start with here today, guys, is uh, the world's greatest stretch. So just going to need some space here this morning. And what we want to do is start at the top of our space and make sure we have some good space behind us. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is start by scooping up that right knee. So establish your balance on that left foot. Pull that right knee up in towards the chest as far as you comfortably can, squeezing that left glute just so we're up nice and tall. Take a breath. And then on that exhale, let's go ahead and step that right foot all the way back. Big time reverse lunge. And then we can take those hands, move them down to the inside of that left foot here. <clears throat> so once we're here, Take a moment, try and keep that back leg straight. And what we're gonna do <clears throat> is take that left hand, reach up towards the ceiling or sky, turn to look past that left thumb. Take a moment, take a breath in this position. Can you keep that back leg straight? <sighs> All right, let's bring that left hand back down to the ground. Before we go anywhere else, let's draw a couple little circles with the hips on the ground here couple circles small and then we'll go the other direction just further kind of getting into that hip capsule this morning <sighs> nicely done all right you guys so now what we're going to do is place that left hand outside of that left foot and then push ourselves up into a nice hamstring stretch for that front leg so let those toes come up try and bring that head closer to the knee take a breath in this position make sure you can own this position with your breath Good, all right, next up, we're gonna step that right foot up, right next to the left, on our kind of forward folds here, and then we can bend the knees a little bit, and roll ourselves up nice and slow. Head, neck, and shoulders, last thing to come up. Give yourselves a little shake. All right, so we got one side done, let's go ahead and do the other. So establish that balance on your right foot. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull that left knee up in close to the chest, squeezing that right glute, Making sure we're up nice and tall. And on that next exhale, we'll go ahead and do a big step back, reverse lunge, placing both those hands on the inside or in the instep, I should say, of that right foot. So again, trying to keep the back leg straight here. We're gonna take that right hand, let it leave the ground, twist ourselves all the way up to reach for the ceiling or the sky, trying to look past that right thumb. Check in with yourself. How's that back leg doing? Is it straight? Are you having a hard time? Are you breathing? <sighs> Good, you guys. All right, let's bring that right hand down. That right hand is going to land outside of that right foot. And then from here, we can do the same thing with that hamstring. So push yourself up into a hamstring stretch, pointing those toes up, trying to bring the knee closer to the head, or the head closer to the knee, I should say. Breathe in this position. I know it's tough. I used to not be able to even do this part. Practice makes perfect though. All right, let's step forward with that left foot and have it meet the right. Now in the forward fold. Then we can slowly roll ourselves up one vertebrae at a time. Give yourself a shoulder roll at the end, shake it out. Good work. Okay, let's stay in standing here. Let's kind of get more into those shoulders. So what we're gonna do is plant those feet. Regular stance, shoulder width apart. Relax those arms, tighten up the tummy a little bit. And from here, we're gonna try and create just some nice big backwards shoulder rolls here. So trying to draw the biggest possible circle that you can with these shoulders. <sighs> Letting them come together in the front. Shrug up near the ears, roll back and then slide down the rib cage into your back pockets. 
So continuing to breathe, I can also close my eyes with this one just to kind of feel the body, a little less visual input. You'll really be able to tell if the spine is moving around or not. We wanna keep that spine nice and stable. Squeezing the glutes also helps to keep the hips stable right under us. All right, guys, last one, wherever we're at, let's do one more full big shoulder roll. Good, slide those shoulder blades down into your back pockets, relax, shake it out. All right, now we're gonna do a couple neck circles in each direction. So same deal, we wanna keep the tummy tight, arms can be relaxed down by our sides. We're gonna start with the chin on the chest and then whatever direction you wanna start with, you can go ahead and get going. You can move at your own pace, but we don't wanna be moving quick here. We wanna stay breathing, kind of slowly move through each kind of tight little spot. Again, trying to draw the biggest circle possible in this rotation. We're only gonna do a couple per, per side. So once you get two done, going in one direction, you can go ahead and change, switch it over. Still breathing all the way. Keeping the rest of that torso Nice and upright, no leaning. Nicely done, you guys. All right, let's end with the chin on our chest here. We can slowly bring that head back up. Nicely done. Okay, next we're gonna come down onto the ground here. So hands and knees in this, in our space here. And what we're gonna do is a, one of my favorite child's pose variation. So a little bit different from the regular one, you guys can have the knees narrow or a little bit wider than the hips, whatever is most comfortable for you. But we're going to start with the hands on the ground. And what we're going to do is walk those hands way out to kind of one side. So we're going to bias one side here, walking my hands way out to the left. And from here, I'm going to sink my hips back towards the heels and kind of pull those hands into a comfortable position. Still want to kind of be outstretched through the, the torso here, but we got one side way opened up now. Hopefully we're feeling some stretch from the underarm, maybe all the way down to the pelvis. And now our task is to just breathe. So breathing into that outstretched tissue from the shoulder down to the pelvis. With each inhale, we're really letting everything expand as much as possible and then retracting on that exhale. Good work, everybody, good work. Breathe into that outstretched tissue. Let's do one more breath. Nicely done. After that long exhale, let's slowly rise. We can put some more weight into those hands. And then we're gonna walk them all the way out over to the other side. And again, this is where we'll be able to, once we find a, a good area, we can sink our hips back. Feel free to move the hands around into a comfortable position. We wanna be feeling some stretch through that opposite side. And so once we can get our hips down near the heels, find a comfortable position for the arms, let's go back into that deep breathing. Forcing the rib cage to specifically push into all that outstretched tissue. Largest inhales we can manage here guys and then even a longer exhale. Good job you guys. All right, one more breath here. Big deep breath out into that tissue. Good, after that long exhale, let's slowly rise, put a little bit more weight in those hands. We can walk those hands back into the middle. And then what we're gonna end with is a little bit of work in the half kneeling position. You guys know I love the hip flexor stretch, <clears throat> daily dose of this. So we got one knee on the ground here. One foot is out in front kind of supporting us. And what we're gonna start with is finding where that, that glute is at of the knee that's on the ground. So my left knee is on the ground. 
going to give my left hip a, a little tap here, squeeze that left glute. And from here, we might already be feeling some tension. We, we might be able to push the hips forward just a little bit to find some more. We want to make sure our cores are tight as well. And we're not pushing forward and just dumping weight into the lower spine here. Don't want to lean back like that. We want to make sure that the hip is nice and secure and the, the torso is kind of coming forward with it if we're pushing the hips forward. But once we find that tension here, we can raise the arm up if you want to exaggerate the stretch a little bit and then also leaning away from that knee that's on the ground can help out with the tension. But let's breathe into that tissue the same way we were just doing with that child's pose. So expand your stomach. Breathe right into the front of that hip while keeping that glute squeezed. One more, guys. Good. Hold that glute tension. All right. Slowly, step by step, let's come out of that. Ease off the pressure on that hip. We'll switch it over to the other side. Keeping that glute squeeze the whole time here, guys, is the key for a high quality stretch. So let's find that. If you're on your right knee, we'll find that right glute. Find the, the ab muscles, the core muscles. Maybe we're pushing the hips forward a little bit. Get a nice solid stretch. And then you can raise the arm up if you'd like. Lean away from that knee if you'd like. Or you can kind of just hang out with the arm by your side. Either way, we want to focus on that glute squeeze and our breathing into that hip. Good job, everybody. A couple more. Keep that glute squeeze as best you can. Nicely done, everybody. Nicely done. All right, slowly. Let's retract that arm. Ease off on the tension in the hips. All right, you guys. So that is all the time I have left for this stretch break here this morning. I hope everyone's blood's flowing a little bit better. Everyone's feeling a little bit more stretched out. Don't forget, we do have exercise with Exos today. That is at noon, another stretch break with me at 2.30 p.m. And then I am also teaching Brittany's usual um, abs and core slash mobility class. And that's going to be taking place at 4 30 p.m today don't miss out i've had super high energy in all my classes this week so I'm, I'm super excited for all of them as well as exercise with exos which is being led by jazzy so hope to see you guys there hope everyone has a great rest of your day take care and we'll see you guys next time thanks louise thanks, thanks louise good job see you guys later